dear fellow Toastmasters, guests, and friends. I've authored this book, Design Your Life Inside Out, and it's a nine-step guide for creating balance in your life. How do you create balance in every area of your life? Design a life you love and live it with passion. As a lifestylist, I believe that your lifestyle encompasses every aspect of your life. A life that has time for growth, meditation, relaxation, and give yourself permission to be your personal best self. Share your gifts with the world. I believe that if you have balance in your life, that it will increase your overall peacefulness and a successful life. Relationships, better health, finances, and overall self-fulfillment. So how do you create balance in every area of your life? Decide to. I have an eight-step formula that I created, an acronym for Decide To. The D is for definite decision. The definiteness of decision is imperative to creating what you want to create because you have to decide definitively that this is what I will do and I won't take no for an answer. E is for expectation. Expecting to get what you want. I mean, how do you feel about life? Do you feel that life is a struggle? Bad things are gonna happen, it's probably not gonna work out for me. Or do you feel that it's possible that you can create what you desire? The C is for clarity. Getting clear on what your goals are. Getting clear on what you're wanting to create in your life. It's really the difference between success and failure. There's a saying that says, if you think you can, you're right. And if you think you can't, you're also right. Intelligence, the I is for intelligence. Not the intelligence we usually think about, but emotional intelligence. It's doing the things that can only be done by you, whether you want to or not, whether you feel like it or not. And so I believe you should develop an exercise or a ritual. If you feel, oh, I don't feel like doing it today. I don't feel like exercising if that's your goal to lose weight or get fit. I don't feel like doing it today. Well, create something that'll snap you out of that. Say, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing this for me. That's emotional intelligence, to do what you need to do. The D is for desire. To really go after your desires, wholeheartedly. And I say all your actions, your thoughts, your words, should support what you say your desires are. If you go after it tentatively, meekly, say, well, you know, it would be nice if I created that. But on the other hand, I would be happy if with just this. I would settle for this. You know, so really, if you desire a thing, go for it. And let your actions support what you say you desire. The E is for energy. I mean, that's really what our life is made of, our energy. And so what do you give your energy to? So being very you know, um, selective in what you're giving your energy to, and also to re-energize yourself when, again, you're not feeling quite up to pursuing the goals that you've set for yourself in creating this dream life. The T is for time. Use your time wisely. And take time to give back to yourself, to relax, to rejuvenate, to restore, <coughs> to recreate, and I say recreation really is recreation. It's giving back to yourself what day-to-day -day living depletes. That O is for optimistic. See that proverbial glass as half full versus half empty. Or take it a step further. See your cup is running over. I mean, it's positive thinking, but it's not just positive thinking. It's deciding that you can create what you want 
when you put your energies and your plan to work. So, how do you design the life of your dreams, design the life that's fulfilling and live it with passion? What is your first step? Decide to. That's what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm.